full. Yeah, I see it. Center. Yeah, so yeah, I guess we, we just have to cut what needs to be cut. So here's here's my recommendation. Okay, mm -hmm. get rid of the damage. Mm -hmm. okay. I know you want to keep as much as possible, but there's no saving what's already been split, broken, and what's already thin. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can guarantee you, especially with you kind of knowing how your hair grows, what works for your hair, don't only just pay attention to your scalp. Yeah. Your hair is going to grow out of your scalp healthy no matter what. What you really have to pay attention on and really care for and give even more TLC is your ends. Yeah. This is what's been out and on your head the longest. So it can be compromised a lot faster. Mm -hmm. Okay. It can get a lot drier. It's exposed to all types of pollutions, you know, different hairstyles, manipulation, a bunch of stuff. Okay. So let's really try to focus on the bottom. Yeah. Yes, the scalp too, but more on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Give it a couple of months. And you're going to come back for a very light dusting. Mm -hmm. Usually, I tell my clients about every two months is a healthy amount of time for a very light dusting. The first time most people come and see me, it's a big cut. Mm -hmm. Because they don't really see what's happening. They're like, oh, I'm just going to come in for a trim. And yeah. it's just the very bottom. And the real issue, they have gaps, holes, breakage, and all that going on. Mm -hmm. The first time, it, it's a lot. Usually within two months, we're talking about a light dusting that's like that yeah. much. And usually on the end, whenever you start seeing a little bulb mm -hmm. or a little like hair knot at the end, that's a telltale sign. That's the first stage of your hair starting to split. Mm. Once you start feeling that, girl, try to get in that chair as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Okay, especially if your ultimate goal is long hair. Yeah. Okay? Um, because, you know, once it splits, it'll split. Mm -hmm. Eventually, keep going further and further up the strand, break mm -hmm. off. Now where it broke off at, now the, another strand is going to start splitting. And then you get, this is the thinness mm -hmm. that ends up happening. Okay? So, I'm thinking, because let's see. What I might even do is... Yeah, I'll probably, I'm going to end up doing the base of your cut and then wash, clarify hair treatment so that way I'm not blow drying any hair that we are not going to keep. Yeah. Look at that one. That's from the very bottom. That is so ridiculous. So, the bottom part of your hair is what needs to be its thickest mm -hmm. especially if you want to start playing around with layers mm -hmm. the top part of your hair will be brought up now you're exposing more of the the bottom hair what's under here that needs to be really full mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. so i would say i'm doing a long layer doing a longer layer so I would say going up to here okay. and doing a longer layer that will give you movement between here and like right here mm. just on that bottom portion okay nothing higher yeah okay? because you don't want it to look too thin on the bottom yeah I, and I don't want it to be like too dramatic either because I really do like like crisp like blunt cuts Mm -hmm. But I do know that the middle of my head has, like, quite a bit of breakage, too. So I won't get that even blunt cut because the middle has to be cut as well. I can? Yes. If, if you want to do a blunt cut without a layer for right now, you could do that. 
Okay. See this piece right here? This is your top this would be considered your top layer. Okay. If we're cutting up to here, that's okay. I'll be able to cut that into okay. one length. Okay. So I'll be able to to get to the breakage that's happening on the top. Okay, okay. Okay, then let's do that and then like as it grows out, then we can play around with like being I agree. fancy. I agree. <laughs> I agree. The breakage up top honestly is not that bad. Yes, you do have some split ends. Mm -hmm. And you have some pieces that are a lot shorter than others. But I wouldn't recommend taking a chance and going in with doing layers. Because oh, layers, okay. yeah, it does. It can make your hair look fuller, mm -hmm. more movement. But it can also do the total opposite. Yeah. And make your hair look thinner. Yeah, because I do know my hair is not like the thickest head of hair in the universe. Okay, period. <laughs> We're going to get it there. We're going to speak that into existence, okay? Yes. So, um, are you okay with giving you your blunt cut? Getting rid yeah. of the breakage? So, I'm thinking like, like that, like get right in between your shoulder blades. Yeah. It's still long enough to where you can do a cute ponytail. Yeah. A little bun. You're having like the only anxiety attack. You know, yet. right? I feel it. <laughs> I'm like, Lord, how many inches is going? I'm like, looking, is that like five inches? <laughs> Think of it this way. It's only inches off of either side of your head that you're really. Doing. Yeah, that is true. Because the middle is sad. So, all right. let's give you a blunt mm. cut. I'll do the foundation of your cut. Okay. And then I'll wash. We're going to clarify. Okay. Give you hair treatment. And then I'll do the rest. Okay. And all that good stuff. All right. Sounds good? Yeah. All right. I'll see you all. Oh, Lord. children this is somebody's full head of hair <laughs> oh my the babies God. that is like a, let me see how long like one two three four like about five or six inches of hair that's the six well so it's officially six inches but you see how thin right the like the last like three to four inches are right. like just scragglers mm -hmm. So the thickness like that this top piece has is good. Mm -hmm. You know, if you only had a, this much thinness all throughout the bottom, then that's all we would have cut. Yeah. You know, but 
once you finish, you know, you'll see that solid foundation. You're not going to see any see-throughness. Mm-hmm. And that's what I really done. want. Because I like the full looking hair, like, you know, fullness. Mm-hmm. That's what I like. Yeah. Bye, children. Bye. <laughs> oh, my God. clarifying it's gonna be something that you may have to add into your regimen yeah um sometimes i mean obviously everything you know is trial and error mm-hmm. you try once a month if you feel like it's too drying for your hair maybe every other month yeah but it's something that i would recommend adding oh, okay
Look at all the movement, okay? Let me give you guys a look from the back. So she does still have a bit of length, but it's not as long as it was, but we needed, okay? We needed to let go of all that dead weight because it was, it was bad, guys. You saw it was bad, and I love how full and blunt the ends look now. It's just, okay, it's just juicy. It's juicy, okay? Juicy. And another thing is, I can't wait to see how my hair will look like a month from now when I um like wash and stuff to see how my curls and stuff are looking. Can't wait to see that. But I'm going to keep up with my trims um, about every like three months or so. And of course, we're going to be protective styling and using our oil because we need to be blunt and juicy, but all the way down here, okay? All the way down. <laughs> All right guys, so this is essentially the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it, following me a little bit for my first salon visit in 20,000 million years. <laughs> and it was fun, she's really cool and I really like her and I'm happy that I actually found someone in my area that can do what needs to be done, okay? Okay? All right, for anyone who's in the Pennsylvania, Stroudsburg area, I will leave her information down below in case you guys want to hit her up or anything like that. Until next time, bye-bye.